you are looking at video 18 of my invention, it's running, this thing is running awesome, man, look at that, it's screwing right on in, running much better. Isn't that thing awesome? Look at it. Gotta take a look down this way. It's a little better, isn't it? I improved it quite a bit since I started in that. You can see down through here. A little bit of better orbit, a little bit of oscillation, pretty much. There's room for improvement, but I kind of want to get a video in to show you what's going on here. Let's just take a look back this way. This thing's running great. Take a look down this way, too. Zoom right on in. Things. Quite a few of them. Go back out. Get side view. All running really good. And you know what? Same motor. Hasn't changed. Awesome. Down through here. There's another clutch. There's another clutch. Another clutch. It's cool, isn't it? That's awesome. Well, anyhow. I'm going to unplug this here so I could talk to you. It's kind of hard to talk over it. I mean, it really doesn't make that much noise when you think about it. I mean, if this thing would be encased or something, you wouldn't be able to hear it. What I was showing you before, I had a blown motor in it. That's what I was showing you. See this thing downside here? How of a, it's, it's like uh, kind of busted up. It's a blown motor. That's the reason why. So I put a fresh motor in it. Oh, made a whole world difference. It runs way better. It, it, it's unbelievable the difference between that old motor and this fresh motor in that. I also added another clutch right here on it. And this is one of the other clutches I had. I built a new clutch here. And I put another clutch here and another clutch here. So they're spread out. It's Seems like it has a lot more pull in it. Uh, let me start this up and I'll show you. It's got a lot of power on it, you know, I mean, it should be able to pull. No problem. And everything's in magnetic fields, as you see. I can... They're all self-starting. Anywhere you go. Let me unhook this again. It has a lot of pull that pulls down inside of here as it runs. So it should uh, pull in no problem whatsoever. It also, I uh, noticed, if, if you notice, I have them staggered as they run. It, it turns a lot better because before, you know, what, when they was in alignment and when they'd come around, it'd go bang, bang, bang. Now this thing, it just turns really smooth. I mean, it just hardly at all. I mean, and it's doing really good. I mean, it's really improved quite a bit, as you can see. And uh, I just get, and then this is right here is my, uh, what I'm going to start building my coils out of. I'm going to start machining this up, make them out of one solid piece and that. It's just, uh, you know, round stock. Uh, inch and a half 
and, that, and that's where the magnets will run inside that. I'll machine it up you. Like before I started out with solid chunks of steel. You've probably seen that from other videos and that. You understand what's going on. And uh, I'm just going to keep working on it. And, and uh, it seems like it's come along really good, Nat. It's going to take some more time. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to keep taking it one step at a time. But this thing is really coming out cool. I mean, it is awesome. You know, and there's no problem on this. And this, uh, this is cold roll right here. This could come in 12 foot length. So I could build this thing 12 foot long if I want. It doesn't use any more energy than what it did before. And my goal is to get like about somewhere around 6 volts in it, maybe 2 amps, maybe an amp or 2 amps. I'm going to try and get it down to that point and then have these coils outproduce it. It doesn't even have to go over Unity. All it's got to do is be a little bit better than this guy right here, Nikola Tesla. Uh, his generators right now is only putting out about 4% efficiency. The rest of it's all heat. He developed the generator for the alternating current. This also will have alternating current because it oscillates inside there. And the thing is, with his type of generator, it, it just doesn't uh, do us any justice uh, because it's only 4%. I mean, we're destroyed almost 500 of our Appalachian Mountains in the United States. And that's quite a bit. And plus, it's not even counting all the water we polluted and everything else. We need to find a more efficient way of using energy. And in my book, that's just not acceptable at all. And I know people are going to sit there and say all oh, this and that, you know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just trying to do it. I've been moving along with a lot of other things. And if I could just get better than the 4% efficiency, I mean, you know, you could imagine the impact this could have on stuff. I mean, it doesn't even have to hit over unity. And I'll tell you what, it gets easier as it turns. As this thing turns inside of here, all it is is just a magnet that, that's coming around and as you can see, they kind of move back and forth. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom this right on in. As you can see, these, these lever arms kind of like move. Here, let me see if I can get one right here. So it pulls that up. And right over there is that one. See how that one pulls? As it comes around, they're not all oscillating together at the same time. They're in different sequences. So we're not moving all together at once. So the plan is right now I'm going to put the coil down inside of here. I got some stuff. I'm going to start building that and start getting the loop in. And I'm still working on that. That's, that's next. And then I'm going to get it to speed it up even more. I got a Try to get it into a little bit of a hyperdrive. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to do that when I get it going. I've had them oscillate way faster than this already. On test, I don't have uh, any videos. Video 5 was fairly fast, but that I had them run way faster than that. And I don't have any videos of that. But, you know, I'm just keep working on it. And, you know, as you notice, I uh, also moved these... Uh, in a little bit closer on that too on the gearing as you can see it's all kind of like condensed and then I had a little bit more room there to put on that I got a lot more adjustments to make but this other motor it was just bad and as you can see it's coming out pretty good I'll just fire it up one more time and then we'll call it quits and then I'll show you the next video of it as it starts getting the coils gone I'll show it to you right before we shut. <laughs> Isn't that thing awesome? Well, I'll let you go, and I'm going to call it quits for right now. I'll, I'll have my next video. This is video 18. We're over and out. Goodbye.